Uh, here is another live thrift haul. And um, it's a four day weekend for me. That's why I'm able to do that on a Monday. Um, I'm a full time teacher of elementary music. But anyways, yesterday was Easter. I hope everyone had a great time with family, friends, or whatever it is you did. We just relaxed and uh, got ready for this haul. And we also filmed an, another set of YouTube videos to come out later. So yeah, here are some thrifted items that we got recently um, all over the place. We even went to an estate sale, a garage sale, St. Vincent's, my honey hole next to my um, work, uh, Goodwill, Thrift Giant, you name it. So yeah, let's see who is live. I mean, in the chat. <laughs> Let's see, I can turn it around. There we go, there's the table. Let's see, live chat. Oh, there we go. Hey, Jason, hey, G uh, Jenny. I did find some really good treasures. I'm gonna get into it right now. Um, I tried to pick a diverse amount of categories so that there's a little bit of everything for everybody. And uh, so let's start with a special item called Walter Woodpecker Stapler. Now, I couldn't find this very many places. In fact, there's none listed on eBay, none on Terapeak. And uh, I got it for $6, but I have a good feeling about it. We're going to list it around 40 and see what happens. Because it's just so crazy, and it's actually new in the box. Looks like originally it was about 37 So we'll see. I just thought that was a very interesting item. I love quirky desk objects. <laughs> <laughs> accessories. Um, this is just something I got from my fridge. I love, you know, what do you call it? Advertising. And yeah, they're not really worth that much. I just wanted to show that. Okay, here's something. Jason, you're either going to love this or hate this. <laughs> I thought it was just too quirky to not pick up. It'll probably go in my music room. <laughs> um, this is from a place called Beachcombers in Florida. Obviously, <laughs> I knew you would hate it, Jason. <laughs> yeah, anyways, this is going to go in my music room because it's a guitar. <laughs> I knew you would hate that. Uh, let's see. This is a really cool item that Matthew found at an estate sale near me. Uh, we have a place in Dallas, and I think they might be a chain. Let me know if you've ever heard of it. It's called the Magic Time Machine, and this is a vintage, um, what do you call it? menu. <laughs> and there's actually two of them. We got them for a dollar each. And it's a really cool place where the waiters and waitresses dress up and their menu is, you know, kind of themed. And these are original menus. Um, so I love ephemera like this. Matthew said that versions of these menus from after because these are originals. So even more recent ones have sold for about 80 which I don't expect to get that much, but I think it's a really cool find. Very up my alley. Uh, when we were in high school, we went to the Magic Time Machine, and we were kind of broke, and we looked at the menu, and we were like, oh, this is not a place for us, so we left. Uh, <laughs> uh, let's see. Any carved tiki with a UPC on the back is a Sarah. Of course it is. Of course it is. And I knew that. I just had to get it because it's a guitar. Enough of that. Let's go to something cooler. Um, this I bought from Etsy. Okay, I just had to show it because, you know, I just showed a tiki-esque item. Uh, this is a handmade resin poured little tiki pendant from someone on Etsy. And I saw them on a tiki group. I love how it was packaged. They're called, let's see, the Tiki Texan. And she made these based off of a, uh, what's it called? The time, not the time machine. No, oh my goodness. Twilight Zone. Twilight Zone, there's an episode where there's like four masks. And this, like a mother, father, son, and daughter. And I got the brother. So anyways, I thought that was cool. And I don't know. I haven't bought very many things from Etsy. It's cool to support local artists. Yes, Jenny, you're right. Let's see. A Pyrex refrigerator dish. And oh my gosh. Well, first of all, I'm thankful it has the lid. I hate when they have this 
duct tape, not duct tape. <laughs> What's it called? Packing tape. But um, I guess the reason why it's duct tape is because we buy the duct tape brand. But anyways, there it is. Uh, it is in pretty good condition. I've seen way worse. Um, we actually might keep it. This one in particular goes for about 10 to 15. I only got it for $1.49. Great deal. It's so funny. The small ones that are half this size go for much more, like $30, but probably because they're harder to find. And I agree, I do find this size uh, more commonly. Let's go to this. This I thought was interesting. First of all, the little anthropomorphic little foods. This is true color, but I cannot figure out what it is. It's for pins, 48 pieces. I'm like, are those grips? Because I couldn't find much info online, but there, well, I did look up Lotus Pin, and it is a Japanese uh, pin manufacturer, and all their pins are expensive. So either way, I'm like, that's pretty cool, and I wonder, you know, what these are. They remind me of those little pencil grips from school, but I doubt that's what this is. You know what it might be? Anyways, oh, Jenny says this blue is more sought after. That's cool. Uh, oh, you can see. Oh, but I did get that half off, so it was $1.50. So yay, we love Pyrex at a good price. Here are these play school puzzles we've picked up before. And they sit for a while. If you want to get the price you want, you have to let them sit. I do see a lot of people sell them in like a lot of three, four, or five. Uh, but we've sold individual puzzles like this for about $15, maybe a little less or more. But uh, for a dollar thirty-nine, actually, no, these were 83 cents. I know that's so specific. Um, there's Donald Duck. And the one thing I hate is it has this tape. I kind of wish that they used painter's tape. I think that would be a better idea. Uh, but for the most part, Matthew has been able to get this tape off of most things. Uh, but this one right here started to come up a little bit, as you can see right there. But this one's my favorite. We actually have another Pac-Man one. This one is from 1982. Man, almost 40 years. Do you hear that, Matthew? <laughs> oh, Jason, that's a great idea. I always forget about hair dryers. I don't, I don't think we have one. Do we have a hair dryer, Matthew? I don't have hair. Matthew doesn't have hair, so we don't have a hair dryer. <laughs> um, and here is another. Uh, is that Porky Pig? No, the three little pigs. Duh, Aaron. Ooh, Jenny, you sold a blue divided dish without the lid for $20. That's great. You know, I actually thought about putting this in the antique booth. I think it would get a little bit more money. That's true, Jason. I'm going to be on the lookout for a hair dryer. I know I see them all the time. Great idea. Um, yeah, we are on a waiting list to get a bigger booth. That's why it's taking so long. But I think that would be a great booth item. Uh, we have a lot of Royal Copenhagen uh, plates, and I've never seen one that comes in this little set from the company in the box. So I thought that was cool. It was half off day, so this was two fifty, and uh, you know, it's it's kind of like these. You have to be willing to sit on them. Uh, <laughs> there's a we have a big stack of these Royal Copenhagen plates, and we'll sell one every half year, <laughs> but it'll be like, oh, that's a good $25. So it's worth sitting on them for a while. But I think this could go for about $15. Not a huge profit, but I like how it was in the box. This is for me. We have a little mouse tree and we actually have a mouse with sound and stuff that's on a cell phone. But look at this Santa's answering machine. How cute. Now, I didn't put batteries in it to sell it yet. And you can put the little Christmas light in it. I just love these type of keep, keepsake ornaments. Um, Jenny, actually, I think they just came like this. But that would be such a cute idea if this was like a sales sample. I've seen stuff like that. Have you seen those little miniature appliances from like the 50s and 40s and 60s or whenever? Of like ovens and refrigerators that they would travel around. I think those are so cute. Um, this I got for myself, but just wanted to give the tip that OCI stands for Omnibus. 
And I believe they were bought out, I don't know when, maybe the 70s, 80s by Fitz and Floyd. So, um, so yeah, this is technically, I could use all of the keywords probably, Omnibus, OCI, Fitz and Floyd, and I just think it's super cute. That's for me. But let's get into something a little more interesting. This, I'm going to need some help on or do some more research. I did buy this for $4.99. I think it's really cool. It's obviously a bottle stopper with this really cool cloth box. But I love how it was apparently complimentary for Hotel Aryaduta in Jakarta, which is in Indonesia, I believe, uh, by Hyatt. And I love how it has a coin st uh attached to it. So anyways, I thought that was really cool. I need to do more research for it, but it's very specific. So I thought that could be, you know, a little bit higher in price. And of course it has to find the right buyer. But anyways, I love things that come from hotels. This is just something I wanted to show. I thrift for my classroom all the time. And uh, I have recently released a YouTube video about all the things in my classroom that I've thrifted. And this will be added to that list because they're little tiny music plaques and they were 41 cents each. I thought that was super cool. I don't know who I'm going to give it to, but obviously a student for something and they appreciate anything. <laughs> so anyways, I thought those were cute to share. Uh, these... I absolutely love Studio Ghibli, My Neighbor Totoro, um, from Hayao Miyazaki. I'm just really into anime. But anyways, the it's basically like the Disney of Japan. Super popular character. When I saw these, I freaked out because I never find uh, like Studio Ghibli stuff in thrift stores. They're just always really expensive, and I don't think people really give them away a lot. But it does have the tag. These are just some house slippers, and they're in great condition, or else I would not have got these slippers. There you go. There's the tag. I know, they're super cute, and uh, I was so upset because it, they didn't have a price, and at this particular store, when there's no price, um, they don't sell it to you, but I went ahead and tried it, and I, I feel like one every five times I ask, they will do something. She said, uh... $2, so I, and I got 40% off, so gosh, I got these for less than $2, and so happy. They only go for about 18 Maybe I'll just wear them. Nah, we'll probably sell them, but I just, I just love, love, love Totoro. <laughs> um, this we got two days ago at a garage sale. This is a little McDonald's coupe glass, but it, it's hard to see, but it says Fair Park. Fair Park is where they have the Texas State Fair, and I thought that was super cool um, and random, and I didn't see any online. So, you know, there are a lot of McDonald's collectors out there. Maybe we'll list this and let it sit. And I just love it. I have a few McDonald's items as well. And, uh, yeah, it, it's actually only 15 minutes from me. I live really close because it's in Dallas. Uh, next is a fail. Um, I thought this shape of glass was very interesting, and it's super heavy on the bottom. And then I saw that it is, oh gosh, I forgot. Hold on, let me take it away. <laughs> I totally forgot. Oh, Rosenthal, there we go. Their studio line, Rosenthal Studio Line. And this would have gone for about $20, and I got it for 41 cents. However, and I did look it over carefully, but oh, you can see right there, it is the thinnest, thinnest looking crack. So unfortunately, I'm not going to sell it. So anyways, I just wanted to show you sometimes it happens and I'm getting better at checking over my items, but that one just slipped through the cracks. <laughs> oh, uh, Jenny, that's a good tip. I bet it came from McDonald's University. Um, ooh, good. I didn't even think about that. Like for a training academy for McDonald's maybe? That Oh, yeah, full of managers. That is cool. Great tip. That, that'll that add to my search when I sit down to do that. This was just a Elvis Blue Hawaii shot glass. I thought of Jason. And <laughs> um, anyways, I'm not a... Don't knock me on this. Don't give me a thumbs down for this, but I'm not an Elvis fan. I appreciate him, 
and what he did for music and pop culture, but I'm just not a, the biggest fan. Um, I know, shame on me. Here's this cute little frame. Ooh, Jason, you know what? Yes. I actually thought of Peggy, too. I'll get with you on that. Thank you. Um, this, just a little tiki frame. Very cute, very cheap. From Kohl's. Don't know why. Just had to have it. It was half off day. I like the colors. Oh, it's heavy. So anyways, probably put a picture of us in it. Because <laughs> I don't think it has much resale value. But you never know. Some Kohl's frames do go for a lot. Because it is Sonoma, which is a popular brand. So I, I might list that. This, oops, I dropped the little hanger. This, I, oh, you do, Jason? <laughs> yeah, it's kind of different and cute. I like the colors to it a lot. Um, it's very heavy, too. This, I recognize from Ikea right away because I actually wanted it, and I bought a tray. It reminds me of the artist Charlie Harper, um, and he's a very popular artist which I love, and he draws a lot of birds and nature. But this, I actually don't think is Charlie Harper. But the ones listed online have gone between 12 and 1, sold in January for $22.99. So I got this cheap. It was like $1.49. And so, yeah, I'm going to put that up. Yes, because Ikea, oh, Ikea stuff sells pretty well. And I love that it's in the package. That's always a plus. Um, now, this is something I would have never picked up. It was on the go-out bin. And I just was like, what is this? Like a mini wardrobe? In fact, I just took my students to see the Lion, Witch, and the Wardrobe. Um, and it is a mini wardrobe. And it's for, you know, kids who collect these type of bears. Um, what's it called? Sorry. It's something like something bare. Sorry, it's escaping me at the moment. I'll find it. But it has all these stickies. Oh, stickers. <laughs> uh, Muffy de la Mer. You know, Muffy of the Sea. Hotel. Oh, la, la. And these st stickers actually came with it. Look, it has these little hangers. Yes, it's like a dog case for your little teddy bear. I think it's Muffy. Muffy. There you go. Muffy Fan Club. I couldn't think of the name. Um, but it even has the little shoes, which I'm just going to include with it. Y'all, this case recently sold for 80 bucks. 80 bucks, And I got it for, like, less than $5. I know that's for sure. So, yeah, really excited to see if that sells for about 80 I would even take 60 But, yeah, um, I got to switch hands because my hand's cramping up. But, yeah, cool item for 80 bucks. I mean, I would have never guessed, especially in use condition. It's not that bad of condition, but still. I know, Jason. I'm like, man, I know Muffy itself doesn't have a high resale value because it was one of those things, and I'm not an expert, uh, one of those things that was made to be collected, like Boyd's Bears. That's what I was thinking of. At first, I wanted to say Boyd's Bears, but it's Muffy. But yeah, anyways, great find and a great bolo to look for. Now, this was super cute. It was only $2.50. It is one of those um, breathing machine uh, nebulizers. Um, I used to use them as a kid because I have asthma. And uh, I just thought it was cute how it's a seal, and it does work. Here you go. It's called Sammy the Seal. And these go for about $25. So I think we can shine them up a little bit, and Matthew can work his photography magic and we can maybe list it for 30 and see what happens uh speaking of water sports what we weren't talking about water sports we waterfalls i had one of these <laughs> asthma buddies unite i know gosh my allergies have been horrible the past three days and having asthma does not help with that um this is new in box y'all it's still in the wrapper you put your own water and I used to have the little swordfish one. I think this is from the 90s. Um, but yeah, this has gone for $35 from Milton Bradley. Okay, so this one is from 2005. But I know I had it as a kid in the 90s. So maybe they stopped. Who knows if they even stopped. Most of the ones I see are vintage. This is Podmas Pit. <laughs> so yeah, this exact one has sold for $35. 
and add $29 free shipping. So yeah, and it's very light. I thought that was a really fun find, and I think I paid $2.50 for it. Now this, I, I love picking up planters. This is a, well, I looked it up as splatter. I looked up mid-century splatter planter, and this actually popped up just in a different form. It was hard to tell the maker. Someone put Shawnee. I'm not exactly sure if that's Shawnee. Um, I bet Lisa will know. <laughs> but anyways, I, I collect planters. I've kind of downsized. I think this would be great in the antique booth, but if I were to put it on eBay, I'd probably put it up for 20 and then, you know, do a sale and stuff. So yeah, that was really cheap too, $1.49. Next, we have showed these when we were on Thrifty Business. This, these are Delft houses made by or for bowls alcohol. The cork is inside, but that doesn't matter because they sell without the cork all the time. And an important thing is it is empty. Uh, it was $0.95, y'all, and this is number 81, and it has sold for $30, $25. Like, there's many solds, and I just love finding these houses. So another bolo for you to find while thrifting. And uh, I actually saw that solds look better if you sell them individually. Um, but still, I saw like lots of these go for $200. Oh, cool, Jason. You visited the HQ when you were in Europe. That's awesome. Is that in, is this from uh, Switzerland? Bowls? Oh, Amsterdam. There we go. Amsterdam. Yeah. Super cool, and uh, that's why we like to show lots of bolos on our YouTube channel. If you haven't seen, which I'm sure most of you have if you're watching this now, but uh, we love to do thrift hauls to show what we pick up. Uh, Elisa, our friend Elisa, she has purchased one of these from me before. These are those vintage little cotton bunnies, perfect for spring and Easter. Oh, that one's really dark blue. Oh, yeah, you're, you're right. That is pretty dark blue. I've seen them much lighter. Um, so, yeah, this is just a cute little ceramic bunny. Ooh, who's this? Joe. Anyways, that's whoever owned it before. Super cheap. I think I got that for a dollar. And this, I am so surprised, made it out of the thrift store alive. Look at this thin glass on this neck of the swan. I don't know the maker. And, you know, glass swans are pretty popular, but... I'm thinking this will be a booth item because I know Matthew can do it, but that's super intimidating. <laughs> I can do it. Yeah, I know, you, I know you can do it, but it's, I don't know. I don't know if it's worth the risk because I really think it's only worth about $12 to $15. It's really pretty, though, and it was cheap. I'm talking like 83 cents. <laughs> All right, now here is something I love. Don't know what I'm going to do with it. But it is like a little Bacardi table stand where you put a little drink menu at a club or a bar. And I bought 10 of them. <laughs> I know that's crazy. It was on the go-out shelf. And they were only 83 cents each. Let's see. It is from... Actually, it doesn't say. It doesn't say when. Oh, 2006. Sorry, that was stupid. <laughs> I was going to say that was stupid. Why, why was I going to say that? Um, I meant that was super small. Oh, cool. All right, Jason, I'll make you a little bundle. <laughs> this is Jason's pile. Here, Jason, I'll put this in your pile. I'm just kidding. <laughs> this is a sipping cup. Okay, this is something I did not know, and I'm going to look out for them now. It's from Czechoslovakia, and Karlavi Vary. Um. Oh, is the city. This is, so it's Czech pottery. This is a mineral water sipping cup from, people would take it to what, the hot springs? Yeah, to the, mineral water springs. Uh, the mineral water springs. And, hold it and hold it underneath the little spring. So I think that's super cool. I love the sun on it. Now, they really do range a lot. I, I've seen like a lot of three go for 15, but I've seen individual ones go for like 20. Um, I guess it depends on the design and what people want to pay for. But anyways, I thought that was cool. I don't remember how much I paid for it. Look at this cute little dumpling. Can we just admire this real quick? 41 cents. 
I looked it up. They're called my squishy little dumplings. <laughs> I don't know what else it does. Um, but yeah, it's just cute. I bought it for myself because I'm uh, a child, a nerd. I don't know. Anyways, um, this is Potter's Corner. I, I just loved the look of it, the rainbow. It actually is paired with another mug. I, be, well, I believe it's a sun. But I've seen individual mugs go for about 16 and I've slowed down on buying my mugs, but this one I really wanted because it was half off day. I believe it was a dollar. And, you know, Starbucks, you are here. They do still sell. If you check solds, they still do sell. Some even for $15, $20. I got this for 3 and I bought it for me because I live in Texas and I love San Antonio. So now I have Dallas, Austin, San Antonio, and yeah, it's part of my collection. But yeah, a lot of the just regular Starbucks have been super, super slow. But I think this is still, if you can find them cheap enough, um, I think they still are worth picking up. Now this, um, I've seen people talk about the big mouth bass, the singing fish. This is Travis the Trout, <laughs> and I got it for $2.99, no, $3.99, so four bucks. And I'm going to wait till the end to play it because he pl it <laughs> you cannot turn it off. Once it <laughs> and once it starts, you can't stop it. So anyways, uh, yeah, really cool. It, now, they still do sell. I, I'm expecting to list it for about 20 And um, oh, hey, Nelly. Um, I'm expected to list it at 30 and I'd be happy with 20 at the end of the day um because it, it varies like i've seen some new in the box go for 25 but i've also seen them go for like 40 so it kind of depends um this is a made in mexico dog i just thought it was super cool because we're dog people and um yep it was a dollar 99 <laughs> uh i wanted to say soapstone but then i'm like no that's not soapstone um, I don't really know what stone this is. It could just be resin made to look like stone. In fact, when you look at the bottom, that might be resin. Anyways, Matthew was like, oh, I think that's the dog or a knockoff of the dog from uh, Coco. I'm not sure. I just thought it was cute. Dante. Oh, the dog's name is Dante? Good to know. Good to know. Let's go back to mugs really quick. Um, usually we will always pick up Deneen Pottery, and this was 40% off, so this was $1.49. Deneen still sells well. This is for Hot Springs, Arkansas, Lookout Point, uh, Lakeside Inn. So anyways, they always do things for businesses and bed and breakfasts, and yeah, uh, the last one we sold for $23 plus shipping, and it sold less than a week, so... Here's hoping this Deneen mug goes for a lot as well. And this we got two days ago. I love this. So my older brother is really big into the fair culture, such as um, not just Scarborough Fair, but Texas Renaissance Festival. Uh, and we actually have a vlog from when we went to Sherwood, if anyone wants to see that. Uh, this is for the 40th anniversary, 2020. Limited edition. <laughs> Anyways, it's numbered 142 out of 1,200. I got this for 262, so I think that's awesome. I did not see any listed. It's probably too early for people to want to get rid of it. Um, I'm wondering if the 2020 Scarborough Fair even um, happened because of lockdown. Yes, it is Stein, yes. I will definitely use Stein as a keyword, and... Um, I'll put mug as well, just because a lot of people will still say mugs. But yeah, pretty cool find. I'm hoping the fact that it's limited and Scarborough Fair is such a huge thing around the country, I'm hoping that'll, you know, make it a little rarer. <laughs> but who knows? Uh, let's go around this way. Here is a rose, but it's, oh no, not just any rose. This is a pillow, y'all, from Disney, and Matthew could not find anything about it from Disney World Parks, and it has all the tags called Bell Rose Pillow. And yeah, we listed this high. I'm talking $62 free shipping. And just because we couldn't find it anywhere, and someone might be looking for that. So anyways, um, of course, I got it cheap, probably $250 is what I remember. And yeah, that would be great if we even got $30. 
Ooh, Simon and Garfunkel fans. Oh, for um for the Stein Jenny, uh, cause I don't I don't I know who Simon and Garfunkel are, but I don't know their tie to uh, that. Maybe to Scarborough Fair. Uh, maybe they have a big uh, following. Um, hey mom, glad you can catch this haul. Thank you guys for joining me. Um, oh, thank you, Jason. I know we need to get worth point. Worth point. Thank you for checking. So really cool. Um, I hope that sells for the price we have it. Um, this, there's something about it that was like, I need to pick it up because I'm getting a really good eye with plush. And if you have followed our channel, we sell a lot of plush and give a lot of good uh, tips. This is Baby Gunned and it is vintage. It has a little crinkle to it. What does that say? Tinkle, crinkle, rattle and squeak. Anyways, this, y'all, I'm not kidding when I have seen solds of this for 40 bucks. We have it listed it listed. It. <laughs> we have it listed for about 25, so we'll see. Uh, I got this for 83 cent, no, 70 cents. I have a good thrift memory. 70 cents, I love it. Uh, this is a little rattle, and to be honest, our dogs love stuff like this. Uh, handmade crocheted toys. Um, but this, I saw the tag and I'm like, well, it's not Carter's or, you know, all the popular brands, Chin Gu. And I found one listed for $35. I think they were just wishing. Listed with a prayer. But anyways, I think maybe we could get about $15. Is that what you put, Matthew? Mm -hmm. And it's a little rattle. So really cute. Always look for tags that look a little different. And the more tags you look up, even if you don't buy them, it's doing research and it adds up. So yay, I love it. Uh, here is something I got just for myself because I love food advertising. I don't know why. I thought this was quirky. It's for the dog, uh, dog treats, bag and strips. Look, he has a little bacon or a little bag and strip and he's licking his lips. How cute is that? It actually sells really low. Maybe they were just either mass produced or just no one wants them, but I want him and it was cheap and... But, you know, I saw some for $6. I mean, we're not even going to list a plush unless it's at least worth $10. Um, that's kind of our rule of thumb. If it's small, $10, but like medium, we want at least probably $15. All right, but I thought that was cool. But let's go to a more expensive plush. Uh, there's something about this that just caught my eye. First of all, it looked older, like a stuffed animal I would have had. This is from 1979, and I was super happy because when I looked it up, I found many of them going for a lot of money. I'm talking $60, $80. Um, I can't remember. What, I think we listed it a little bit lower so it could sell because there are several listed. Yeah, I think 60 But yeah, um, it's called Stitch. Or Okay, let's see. Gun. What did you say? Stitches. Stitches. That's like its character name. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I just saw Gund, and you know, Gund is popular. But when you find vintage Gund, then it's like, okay, let me do my research a little bit. I'm that good yeah, and it is in great con in great condition for that age. Hi, Christine. Oh, I got all my friends with me. Thank y'all for the thumbs up and for uh, watching this haul. Hopefully, everyone can learn a little bit. And uh, yeah. Here is a little treats container. Now, the reason why I got it is we've had a lot of good luck with things made in England, and this is made in China, but it's designed in Britain by Millie Green. And when I looked up Millie Green, um, her st they didn't have this exact canister, but her stuff looked on the high end, and it was only $3.99, and I thought it was too cute and in good condition to pass up. So, yeah. Uh, that's why I love to look up the brand first, because otherwise I would have skipped over that. This, um, first of all, Paul Frank is still popular. It's just, um, you know, sometimes it doesn't command that high of a price. But this little messenger bag. Diaper bag. <laughs> yeah, Matthew tells me it's a diaper bag. Okay, it's a diaper bag. What a cool mom to have a diaper bag like this. <laughs> um, the only thing is, First of all, it's in great condition, but there's this, like, I don't know what it is. 
It's not dirt. What do you think it is, Matthew? Like ink smudge. Ink smudge? I don't, know. I don't know. We can't figure out what it is or if we're even able to clean it. But anyways, I got it for cheap. I believe four dollars and nineteen cents because it was six ninety nine. Forty percent off. The cool thing is, it does have a little. Oh, and this is what clued us in for it being a diaper bag which I never, sorry, hold on, let me use my two hands. Y'all can just look at Mr. Teddy Bear right there. Ooh, Christine says try lighter fluid on it. That's a great tip. Thank you, Christine. See, look, we've already gotten two tips. This thing, <laughs> this, I had no idea you put it down so your baby doesn't have to sit on something dirty, right? Yep. So cool. I would have never known that because I'm not a mother um, yet. But anyways, I thought this was like something you put your, uh, what do you call it, makeup brushes on and just, but that wouldn't make sense. Anyways, so diaper bag, Paul Frank. I saw some listed 60 to 80. Um, if we cannot get this stuff off, and it really doesn't like detract from like the overall aesthetic. Um, everything else is in great condition. I don't know. If we could at least get 40, that would be awesome. So what else do we have? Oh, I know. Hullabaloo. Y'all, I learned about this through the thrifting board and uh, thrifty business. This is a game that, well, Cranium is very popular, but Hullabaloo is, uh, they stopped making it. And this was new in box and it sold today, y'all. Sold today for $44 plus shipping. And it was new in box and I got it for a dollar fifty. I kind of believe it. It's because it was half off day. So look for Hullabaloo because people sell this electronic part um, separately and it's all sealed. So that's awesome. Oh, Jenny says Hullabaloo was a dance TV show when you were a teen. That's cool. I've never heard of it. I've, I've heard of the word Hullabaloo. Like I'm in such a Hullabaloo. Um, so yeah, I'm so glad to wake up to that sale today. Uh, this we've mentioned before. This is Jay Dubin. We got it for $1.49. Thanks, Jason. Um, and thanks for leading me to that. Oh, it was in the 1960s. Very cool. Um, yeah, we always pick this up because eventually it sells. And it's funny, my last uh, YouTube live, my brother said, I have a few that haven't sold um, because ours always sell fast. Um, and then his sold a week later. So that's awesome. So Anyways, if you can find this brand, I think, yeah, this is from Fort Worth, so maybe that's why I find it all the time. It's really nice quality feeling uh, ceramic. Like, it has a ring to it, like when you flick it, but I'm not going to flick it. Well, not that side. Okay, maybe I will flick it. Well, I don't know what I'm talking about. I thought it had a nice tone. <laughs> I'm just making stuff up. I'm just kidding. Here is one of my favorite things as a music teacher that I found recently. It was $12.99 and unfortunately it was not on sale, but I did not care. This is a shake array and it's fiberglass. They still make these. Right now, I don't believe this color is up on their website, but there's many uh, music stores. Sorry, let me get my camera together. Um, this is by Meinl. Yep, they go for about 150 new. So we listed for 135 because, you know, it's in great condition. In fact, I can't find any flaws on it, thankfully. I'm so glad the beads or the netting or, you know, this didn't get bent. But, yeah, we are hoping to get about 120 and I think that's awesome. Uh, and it, ha it makes a really great sound. <laughs> I'm not going to do it now. Matthew always gives me the death look. It's just loud. Because <laughs> it's loud. <laughs> oh, Christine wants to know how it works. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. Well, I can't do it with one hand. I can't do it with one hand. But I've actually, we've had a professional... Uh, African drummer come to our school several times and he would always get out the shake array and the kids would go wild when they hear it because it's so fun. Yeah. Yeah. You just shake it basically. And I know there's a certain technique, but um, it's, it's basically just a really loud glorified shaker. Yeah. 
Jenny says, I need a red one to put a Christmas tree in. <laughs> this, Jenny? <laughs> what do you want to put your Christmas tree in, Jenny? <laughs> um, I know when you say it, it's going to make sense. Um, this, okay, this was super cheap. Super cheap, and I know these do not sell well. But I didn't have one, and I thought it could go in our backyard. Oh, Jenny, got it. <laughs> yes, we have it on our little rotating platform. It doesn't spin on its own. <laughs> That's funny. Now it makes sense to me. Now it makes sense to me. Okay, um, but this was a dollar, so I had to get it. Great condition. Maybe we'll list it, but... I think it's going to be patio decor. Um, gosh, my hand is shaking. Sorry, y'all. Uh, this we got at a, not an estate sale. It's a warehouse that benefits our puppies, the East Lake Pet Orphanage in uh, Dallas, where we adopted Benjamin and Henry. Oh, Jenny, Matthew, didn't we get this on Amazon? I think I gave it to you for Christmas one time. Yep, it's on Amazon. And I actually got the idea from Jason. So thank you, Jason. Um, this was only $3. I know it's not tiki. I just love it, though. It gives me, like, Legends of the Hidden Temple vibes. And it is hand-painted. And I don't know if we're going to list it. or s I mean, we're probably going to keep it and list it later. It has an elephant on it. And I just think it's really cool. I love the colors. Uh, yeah. I think it'll fit with this poster over here, not poster, this painting. It looks very Incan and Mayan, so yeah, maybe we'll put it on that wall. So yeah, now I only have one or two more items. This, oh, I saved this for last. I was hoping, well, maybe Becky and Elisa will watch later. I thought of them for some reason. Um, oh, I think it's because I sold Becky this very quirky, Nicholas Cage pillow. And Elisa loves quirky things. <laughs> so shout out to our friends, Becky and Elisa. Anyways, let's see which celebrity is in this pillow or under the mermaid. What do you call these mermaid sequins? Mm -hmm. um, any guesses? This will be fun. Any guesses as to which celebrity? Oh, cool, Jason. Nelly, yes, we do plan on keeping it, yes. Justin Bieber, so we have Cher, oh, Justin Bieber, Taylor Swift, oh my goodness, Carrot Top. <laughs> I think we got this for, oh, I got this for less than $3. Liberace. Liberace, oh, because of this, the sparkle. Okay, let's see who it is. Big reveal. Oh, wait, I got to go the other way. M Matthew, come over here. Lend me your hand. I can't do it. I'll just pet it awkwardly. <laughs> I wonder if I even got it backwards. Who's it going to be? Is it Brittany? It was upside down. Was it upside down? It's hard to tell. Oh. Uh, other way. It's Jeff Goldblum. Dun, 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 dun. Life, uh, life uh, finds a way. <laughs> From Jurassic Park fame. He is like a... Women love him, and men probably. He's just a stud. He's just a stud. He, he's really grown into his older age. He's smart too. And he's smart. <laughs> let's, let's give him a little Ash Wednesday. A little, I, don't know what I, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Anyways, thought that would be a fun way to end this haul. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you're watching this after the fact, um, these items could be yours if you want them. Just hit us up at a, what is it, Matthew? Shop, Pete's, Shop Treasures. Pete's Treasures. I'm just going to destroy Jeff Goldblum's face. Shop Pete's Treasures at gmail.com. <laughs> at gmail.com. Or, you know, find us on Facebook at Pete's Treasures. Check out our other thrift hauls. We love to share what we get. Look at me. I'm just stroking his face. <laughs> it's because of the mermaid sequins. Sure it is. Sorry, I'm distracted. Distracted by his beauty. Look at this silver fox hair. Hit that subscribe button, <laughs> that subscribe button if you haven't. And a, like. and a like. And we have some more thrift haul videos coming. <laughs> uh, Christine says, 
His face distracts me too. <laughs> um, we have some, we just shot some teeny tiki videos yesterday, two of them. Uh, we have an antique mall shop along coming up. We have tons and tons of thrift to go through to show to you. And yeah, thank you so much. Keep digging for treasure because you won't find it if you don't look. And we are going to close out by listening. You got to turn them on in the back. Oh, you do? We are going to listen to Travis the Trout. Oh, that's right, Mom. He was on Drag Race. Here's some Christmas, Jenny. Isn't that cute? <laughs> All right. Bye-bye, everybody. Keep digging for treasure because you'll never find it if you don't look. My squishy little dumpling. <laughs>